What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Crystal Walkthrough. Okay, so, it is finally time to go across the sea because, uh, in our last episode, we actually made it all the way up to the light, uh, the light tower. Jasmine informed us that, yes, the Amphi the Ampharos is pretty sick and is unable to do anything right now, so she's really worried about him, can't battle us or anything, so we need to get medicine across the sea over at uh, Olivine City, so... No, not Olivine City, but Cyanwood City. So, now that we got the surf technique, it is okay. It is now time to actually surf and uh, battle every single one of these trainers out here. So, luckily for us, we got repels. I really don't want to mess with any of the uh, any of the uh, Pokemon right here. So, what we're going to do is we're going to be battling a whole bunch of uh, water-type Pokemon trainer right here. So, here's this guy, you know, something about cramping and all that stuff. Yeah... I didn't even read because I'm not really paying attention to him. So here we go, Speedo Torpedo Simon wants the battle and he's coming out with his tentacool. Well, you got that. I got Kid Thunder. So this is perfect. This is perfect ground for Kid Thunder right here because it's all water type Pokemon right here and I do have equipment. I do have the equipment needed to actually, you know, restore those uh, electric type moves that, well, that electric type move that he has. And he has another tentacool, so we're, let's, we're just going to continue on right here. Let's go. Another one. Thunder Punch. Yeah. You're definitely not liking that. So, Kid Thunder, keep on doing your thing, man. You're looking awesome. He's like, okay, Uncle, I give. Wow, you are like a cheap mother lover. Dang, only 160 Poke Dollars. So, talk to this lady right here, and she's like, no inner tube for me. I'm hanging on to the sea Pokemon. Alright, alright, let's go. Let's do this right here. So here we have Swimmer Paula. She wants to battle. She's coming out with her star you right here. It's good stuff, good, good. Alright, so Kid Thunder, do your thing. Destroy. That is right. There's that Thunder Punch. Finishes off star you just like that. Mm hmm. Yeah. And she's coming out with a shelter. Okay, so we got some high defense right here. Well, let's see what happens. Another Thunder Punch. You think we'll finish in one hit? One hit? One hit? Yes, one hit. That's right. So there's no more. No more Paula. And she's like, oh, I'm feeling dizzy. Should be, because I just roll all over you. Okay, so moving on forward right here. I'm pretty sure there's more Pokemon trainers right around here. We're going to battle every single one of them. So here we are in Route 41. And now we're entering the area where the four seven or the the four islands, the World Islands right here, that contains the legendary Lugia is at. And there's gonna be trainers all around, so we're gonna try and battle every single one of them. That way, in the future, once we get to Lugia, we don't have to battle them ever again. So here we have Speedo Torpedo George, and he has six Pokemon. What the heck? Oh my God. Oh jeez, six Pokemon. All right. Alright, that's good stuff, alright. Kid Thunder, destroying him with tentacle, or, you know, with Thunder Punch. Gonna grow some levels, you know what, I'm, I'm just gonna finish him off right here. Finish him all off with the same Pokemon. Kid Thunder, doing his thing because he can. Because he looks like a plug and he's gonna just destroy you. And more Thunder Punches means more fainting. More levels for Kid Thunder himself right here. And, uh, let's see, let's see. Oh, she's gonna come out with another tentacool. I'm gonna stick with Kid Thunder. Yes, it's six, it's six power points away, but you know what? It's worth it. He's getting his trainer right here because the next Pokemon trainer or the next gym leader, he's gonna be a pretty tough one. Very tough one right here. And uh, look at that. Just making that money right there. So, tentacool, go. Alright, let's see. Let's see what you gotta do right here. Thunder Punch. That's right. Finishes him off. That's right. So the the Thunder Punch uh, uh the Thunder Punch show featuring Kid Thunder right here, just you know, making a mockery out of these tentacles right here. And look at that, just he's continuing on making making these guys look like foos. Yeah. Can it get to level 30 right now? Maybe, but no. There's a Remoraid right here. This is new right here. First time we're ever facing a Remoraid. Probably won't give us a lot of experience points. And there we go. Bye bye, Remoraid. 
And uh, yeah, Kit Thunder is kicking some butt right here. Speedo Torpedo George is like, Pat, Pat, Pant Pant. What is Pant Pant? I don't know. All right, let's move along right here. So, as you can see, the World Islands are protected by uh, whirlpools. And, uh, well, let's see what happens if we try getting in there. See, it spins us all the way back, so there is no way for us to get in there until quite possibly later on when we get the TM. So, here we have another battle, just to reward our, our troubles. Here we have the saucy swimmer Kara coming out with a Staryu. They love their Staryus. Okay. Hit Thunder. Let's see what we can do right here. Thunder Punch! This is probably like the human cheat code right here. Oh, dang! Finishes him off. Right there. Kid Thunder getting some experience points. And, well, she's coming out with a star me. So, let's go ahead and finish it off. Let's do, let's do what Kid Thunder knows how to do. Thunder Punch. And there we go. Another Pokemon fainted. 800 experience points. And bam, level 30. Kid Thunder's kicking butt right here. And there we go. Kara's saying, oh my god. Oh no. Oh. You have more energy than I do. That is true. And would you look at that, Kid Thunder is finally evolving. So there it is, guys. Look at that. Oh yeah. Evolution. We got ourselves our Electabuzz, finally. So some of these baby Pokemon that we get, like uh, Smoochum, Magby, and Electabuzz, yes. They evolve at level 30 and Mama's calling us. She's like, hi Draven, how are you? I found a useful item shopping. Sorry, I bought it with your money, yada yada yada. It's in the PC, so it's probably a repel or something. So let's go ahead and check out our newest Pokemon, Kid Thunder, not so kid anymore, Electabuzz. So it's a very fast Pokemon. As you can see, its stats go all the way up. Weak point is its physical defense, so you guys gotta be aware of that. So, now that you're done, let's go with, uh, let's go with Teddy right here. I kind of feel like it needs one more level to evolve as well. So, the repel wore off. I need, to, I need to use that. I need to use that repel. So we got three repels. I think we got a super repel in the last episode. So we're going to investigate on all islands right here. And uh, let's see. It's leaving us right here. Chances are we're already going to make it to uh, Simonwood City. Yeah, we're pr oh yeah, we're probably going to make it right now. And here we have... Are you seeking uh, seeking for the secrets of the world islands? Yes, I kind of am. Not right now. I have to get medicine. So here we have another Speedo Torpedo. His name is Matthew, and he's coming out with his Krabby. He looks pretty crabby to me. He really does. So let's go, Teddy. Let's do this. Strength attack. Lift up that big old boulder. Make him look like a foo. And would you look at that? Nearly makes him faint with that vice grip. Takes a nice chunk of uh, HP right here, so let's finish him off. Faint attack. Oh, yeah. Doesn't like that, huh? There we go. Ooh, nearly grew to level 30 right there. Probably should have not used that repel. I don't know. Okay, so that's one island. I should probably go up here because... Ah, look at that. There's another trainer right there. The weather is so beautiful. I'm in a daze. I'm pretty sure you're in a daze. So, here we have another Pokemon trainer, Beauty. No, Swimmer Denise. And she's coming out with a seal. Another Pokemon that, you know, is entering our Pokedex info, whatever. Let's go. Let's use that roll it attack. You know, strengthen it just a little bit. And that Aurora Beam is going to be the death of me right now. Because if you remember a few episodes ago, we were having a little trouble with that. Look at that. More power. More Aurora Beam. Dang. And, ooh, we missed. And that Aurora Beam is going to hit us three times. So, it, oh, jeez. Come on, Teddy. You can do this. Finish it with Strength Attack. I would like to say it's like Mortal Kombat. Finish him. Fatality. And look at that. Teddy grows to level 30. And we defeated Denise. Look at that. She's like, oh. Oh, there we go. And would you look at that. Another evolution. It's Teddy. Alrighty. So Teddy's not going to be cute anymore. It's going to be big and brawn, brawny. Look at that. 
That's right, Ursarang. So here we have our newest Pokemon, aside from Electabuzz. We got Ursarang. And uh, let's go ahead and check out this new Pokemon too. So as you can see, Ursarang. Normal type Pokemon. Yeah, it still has all its stats, but as you can see, it is very, very strong physically on the attack side. Everything else is even now. Very good Pokemon to actually have on your team. That's... Wow. We're evolving everybody. Should we try for Relic? Should we? I want to try for Relic. Alright, so... Let's see if we can actually evolve Relic here. We never had three evolutions in one episode. I could be wrong. Go check out my Draven XC711 channel. See if I'm wrong. But let's see if we can actually try this right here. So here we have another Speedo Torpedo. Has two Pokemon. Perfect. This guy's got the perfect Pokemon. He's got himself a Gyarados. Alrighty, let's do this. Let's make uh, this. Let's let's see if an Eevee can beat a Gyarados. And wow, it flinched. Wow. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. All right. Look at that. Wow. And that was uh, okay. All right. There we go. Oh, look at that. Another one. Man. Okay. Okay. So let's go with that Shadow Ball. Takes a huge chunk, if not everything. Look at that. Critical hit. <laughs> Relic, you are strong. You are a strong Pokemon. Alrighty. Okay, so that's another one gone. Did we already beat this guy? No, I don't think so. So let's use that Repel. And you know what? Let's use that. Let's use those last two berries. That way we don't have, like, any kind of a... Uh, any kind of extra extra items in our bag because we're probably at that point where we're like excessively uh, using all those uh well using the space up in the, in the bag right here so let's see if we battle her yeah we already did so let's go elsewhere let's see battle oh no I don't think we battled oh we battled her okay so that's oh look at that more Pokemon trainers see those islands that are blocked by whirlpools there's just there just has to be a secret you don't think. Alrighty. Let's do this. So we have another Speedo Torpedo. His name is Burke. And he will be coming out with a Quillfish, which is, uh... Well, it's pretty new. It is pretty new to us. Alrighty, so... Let's go with that Headbutt. There we go. There we go. Oh, dang. And that... That's it. So... No more experience points right there. Okay. Alrighty, so that's... I guess that's it, right? I don't know. Okay, so... We haven't defeated her? Yep! That's right. We're battling every single Pokemon trainer right here. We're battling everybody. So here we have... Swimmer Susie, and she's coming out with her Psyduck. Psyduck. Okay. Alrighty. Alrighty, so let's go with that Shadow Ball. I know it's not a pure Psychic type Pokemon, but you know, one can only try. So there we go. And uh, let's see, Susie's coming out with a Goldeen. Let's just keep it at that with Relic right here. I, I really want to evolve all these Pokemon because, you know, we're getting at that point where we're going to be battling some pretty tough Pokemon trainers later on. So here we go with the Headbutt attack, and that takes care of Goldeen with a critical hit. And uh, look at that. Relic grows to level 39. Please, 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 please evolve. Please. So Susie's all like, I'm crushed. Yes, you are. And would you look at that. Finally. It's daytime. It's finally time. Relic is finally evolving into the Pokemon that I initially wanted to. Say hello to Espeon, the big-eared Pokemon. Psychic-type Pokemon, too. Now, there is one downside to this whole thing. It's really irritating me. So I checked on Bulbapedia, and it kind of, yeah, it kind of pissed me off just a little bit. But at level 36, if you know, if we would have had Espeon by level 36, it would have learned its first Psychic type move. But unfortunately, we won't have anything until level 42 and 47. So we're 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 miles away from all that stuff now. Let's just get the heck out of here and get to uh, Sinewood City. I think we already got all the Pokemon that we need. But you know what? I completely forgot. Let's check our Relic right here. Yes, I'm... Look at that. 
Okay, so as you can see, its special attack is through the roof. Everything else is nice and even out, especially its speed. We we evolved three Pokemon in one episode right here. This probably is a first in this channel. Check on my Draven XC711 channel if uh, if that if I've already done that one time at least once. So here we are finally in Sinewood City. Well, in the border of Sinewood City, and we're gonna use that last repel right here. And uh, hmm, where are you? Ah, here you are. So here we are, guys. Sinewood City. A port surrounded by the rough seas. Pretty good stuff. Pretty good stuff. So, man, I'm 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 really happy about this. I mean, let's see. Look at that. We have a relic who's already an Espeon. Teddy who's already an Earth Ring. Kit Thunder is already an Electabuzz. Toxic Batman fully evolved. Lucky's fully evolved. The only Pokemon that we still have left that is not fully evolved is Cinder. And it's a while to wait from actually going to level 36. I do have a rare candy, but the thing is, I'm saving that for the next gym battle. So stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, we're going to take a small tour of uh, Sinewood City. And then after that, you know, see if we battle a few gym leaders here and there. So stay tuned, guys. I'll be right back.